this Boeing 777 is capable of the same cruising speed as every other 777, but it will now be able to fly certain routes faster, allowing airlines like Air New Zealand to connect distant cities like never before. We have to take about 20 minutes, 30 minutes uh, of some routes on some days. It depends on the weather. How is it possible? Captain David Morgan, Air New Zealand's chief pilot, explains with his airline's popular Auckland to Los Angeles route. On some days, because of wind conditions, Captain Morgan can save time and fuel by veering to the south on the way to Los Angeles. But he couldn't because of a rule requiring twin-engine airplanes to stay within 180 minutes of an alternate airport. The rule, known as ETOPS, or Extended Operations, effectively created no-fly zones over the Pacific Ocean and elsewhere. Aviation experts say the rule existed because of concerns about engine reliability even though the facts proved otherwise. When the first jet engine came out, uh, 900 shutdowns per 1 million hours. Now it's one per 1 million hours. It, it, colossal reliability. So the Boeing team went to work, sifting through millions of flight records to show that flights on two engines is just as safe as those on four engines. After months of review and analysis, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration has agreed, giving long-range Boeing 777s approval to fly up to 330 minutes away from an alternate airport. It means those no-fly zones will disappear, clearing the way for airlines like Air New Zealand to fly faster, more efficient routes. The airplane will fly a more straight line between the city pairs, uh, and that's good for the environment. Uh, it means less fuel being burnt, less carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere, but it's also good for the customer because the flight's going to be shorter and they're going to get there sooner. With extended ETOPS, the Boeing 777 can now cover literally every route on Earth. We've always said at Boeing that passengers want to fly from where they are to where they want to go without intermediate, intermediate stops. And the, this ETOPS gets us that next step for point-to-point -point service. We can now fly from any point on the globe to any point on the globe.